Hey, this is Kristen from Drive Mode Show, and today I'm going to tell you about this 2020 Nissan Maxima. This one is in the SR trim, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a second. What I'm going to go over are the three things that I love about this Nissan Maxima, and two things that I think could be improved. The first thing I want you to notice about the 2020 Nissan Maxima are the lines. It's beautifully designed and Nissan calls it a four-door sports car. And it does feel like that in many ways, but it has a beautiful look as well. On the SR trim, you get these gloss black wheels in the 19 inch, really feel like they grip the road. It's got body colored door handles and a spoiler in the back. The roof line is a little bit low, but this is one of the things overall that I love about the Maxima. It's got style. The second thing I love about the 2020 Nissan Maxima is the interior and especially the seats. Nissan has these zero gravity seats that are inspired by NASA and they have 14 pressure points to keep you comfortable. You definitely notice it on long rides. When I'm taking this out to West Texas to visit my in-laws or just around the city of Austin, I notice how comfortable it is. I don't really have to make very many adjustments. It makes my back go, ah. And I love that. But it also has some beautiful interior touches too. It has a lovely console, double stitching all throughout this SR trim. The inside has this deep leather and quilted stitching. And the steering wheel has this flat bottom sporty look that I like. Giant manual shifters and easy to reach audio controls. One thing I found a little bit confusing was that the same button that changed the radio stations and the Sirius stations is right next to the volume, which makes sense, but right below it changes the screens. And that is a little bit confusing because I feel like those maybe should be separated a little bit more, delineated a little bit more. The infotainment screen is ample. It's plenty in size, and you can see everything that you want to look at very easily. Look at the menu. The buttons for your audio control are also there, and I appreciate that it's touchscreen and on your steering wheel and buttons. All those things in an audio file would love. I want you to check out this panoramic sunroof, which is standard in the SR trim, and the way it opens is unique. It opens from the back and from the front. Plenty of light, and it's fun. Gives a little more headroom too which is one of the things I don't like as much about the Maxima. So I watched a video from Joe Rady from Rady's Rides, and he talked a little bit about the headroom in this car, and I agree with him. In the back seat, it's definitely tight, so if you are a tall person, you're not going to want to ride in the back. You're not going to, this may not be the best car for you. If you have really tall kids or really tall passengers, you're going to be carting around quite a bit. Even here in the driver's seat, I was adjusting my seat and hit my head, and I'm only 5'5", five five. so that's also something that you should notice. I think as you change the seat, put the seat back, you get a little bit more room, and if you have the sunroof cover, the sunroof cover open, you also get a little bit more headroom that way. This vehicle is so comfortable. It has a city, or it has a highway MPG rating of 30, which is pretty good. Well, Nissan's calling this a sport car sedan, 300 horsepower, 30 miles to the gallon on the highway is pretty good. And it's comfortable while you're riding in it. 